Hello, welcome to One Moment Wiser. This is Christy Bridges and it's Trade In Tuesday, where we trade old behaviors that aren't working for new stuff that does. My friend Erin Garcia gave me a mental health tool called a Strong Personal Foundation. And it lists the characteristics that make us stable, sturdy, and successful. One of the lines in it says, I identify and reduce tolerations. So God has given each of us a body, mind, and resources to use for his glory and our own fulfillment. Are you tolerating things in your life that deplete what he's given you? Imagine yourself sitting on a horse with the reins in your hand. If you pull the reins in tightly, the horse's head comes back and he can't walk naturally, so he's probably going to stop. You want to be a little flexible so he can step around obstacles and not get worn out pulling against you, but you need to hold them firmly enough that he knows what to do when you move the reins right or left. Proverbs 10.4 says, a slack hand causes poverty, but the hand of the diligent makes rich. In verse 9 it says, whoever walks in integrity walks securely, but he who makes his ways crooked will be found out. Now, if you're slack on the reins and you don't diligently guide your horse, then you could sit in the saddle till your butt is flat and your legs are bowed and you never get where you want to go. Your path will be crooked as the horse explores the vegetation and walks under trees trying to knock you off. That horse represents the resources God has given you. Today, let's reduce the slack. Let's trade our tolerations, our distractions, our laziness, our bad priorities with diligence and integrity. God bless you.